appreciate your insight that we need to grieve the lack of available quality partners. No amount of believing I deserve better summons them. Grieving is not just having a sad. It's a, it's a far more complex process. I see a lot of us, a lot of women, in those first two stages of Keebler-Ross's stages of grief, which is an imperfect model, but I think it can be useful. The first two stages are denying. This isn't happening. I'm in denial of the fact that something is no longer here for me. That person is gone. The lack of available healthy partners is not here. We don't want that to be true. So we go into denial about that. And the second part is bargaining. And bargaining is like, okay, well, I can fix it. There's something I can do to change that. And I see a lot of women in the bargaining stage. The bargaining stage, I think, looks like, well, why is that? Let's figure it out. Let's fix them in. Let's solve this problem somehow. And we cannot solve this problem because this men have to choose to solve this problem. This problem is entirely outside of our control. The next two stages after we come to terms with the fact that, oh shit, this is, this is happening and we're not trying to change that anymore is anger and sadness. We might feel a lot of uncomfortable feelings about how this is our reality right now. But then that last stage is acceptance. What does life look like? If this is not available, what does, what does a meaningful, rich life look like outside of partnering with men? Here is an exercise that I want to encourage you to do with me right now. I want you to imagine that you go to bed tonight and you wake up tomorrow morning and all of the cishet men have just vanished overnight. And after a sigh of collective relief that we can all breathe because now we feel safe in a way that we've never felt safe before, I want you to consider what would you orient your life around if partnership is off the table? What would matter to you? What would you want to invest your time and energy into? What would you want to give birth to? The answers to, the answers to those questions are so much more important and have way more value than trying to solve the problem with men. I, I would love to hear what came forward to you when I asked that question. Please stitch this with what comes forward for you when you imagine what your life would look like if it's not centered around finding and maintaining a male partnership. Put it in the comments, I really wanna hear. Remember that grieving takes time and um, it is a process, and so you might still find that you are kind of like in the la la la, this can't be true phase. Just stay with us. Stay with us.